Hey guys, welcome back. We are in the wood yard with Chris today, and we are running the Easton May 12. We're no, <laughs> and we are running the Easton May 22 MB processor. So here we go. We're gonna get a lesson from this guy, see how it runs, and uh, have a good time. What are we doing? You're gonna find out that it's harder than it looks. <laughs> I don't doubt it. More levers, more complicated. A lot of levers. I'm half up there. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit rabbit speed. Rabbit. Rabbit speed. So now I'm just gonna get you accustomed to the levers. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put up the log eject but that's hanging down. So you pull that in and go down so you know what it does. Okay. And then the next thing is the conveyor. Just see what that does. That's up that's here. And then you can stop it in the middle. You okay. don't need to worry about that. Yeah, you don't touch that one. That's the that's the uh, up and down conveyor. You don't need that. That's the saw clamp. Yep, that's up. And then go all the way down with it once. further I want to show you that uh, the tip up tray is right underneath underneath it there yeah oh, that's the rollers I'm sorry that's the rollers right there so they're rolling so this is your tip up tray up and down okay so you don't need that till you get to the end of the log and this is your ram right here you have to hold it back yep you gotta hold it the whole time there's that no auto quick. return on that and then the other thing is your wedge up and down so that's your wedge up wedge down <laughs> but you want to run a big piece pretty much in the middle. So just kind of line up your first one and then go. Okay. So, <coughs> go ahead and uh, first thing you're going to do is push the saw clamp down and, and do a cut. All right. Let's go ahead and give it over. Go back. There you go. Okay, now you got to tumble it because it's in there crooked. So you want your uh, your roller. Yep, there you go. Got to roll it. Go back the other way. Go right there, right there. That's where you want it. And then go ahead and ram it. Okay. And then you want to get your elevator going right away. Oh yeah, we haven't turned it. Let's go about that fast. Just get that. Okay. And then you're gonna do another cut. So bring your bring your log in. In feed, so pull it towards you. That's good. And go ahead, same. That's good. That's good. Same, same lever. Now you just go ahead and do your cut. Bring it forward. Keep going. Keep 
there, good. Now, when you go down with the clamp, go slow, go slow, 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 stop, right there, stop, stop. Okay, good, stop, don't do anything yet. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna drop the tip, drop the tip tray down. It's already on the clamp, so drop your tray. If you don't do that first, it'll drop in on you. So now you can clamp and cut, clamp and cut. You kind of get used to it.
guys. So I ran the Easton made 22 MB processor for quite a while. I'm not very good at that. We'll go over it there. We'll go over that at the end of the video. I am now on Chris's Coyote DK4710. This is more my speed. I'm more of a tractor guy than a processor guy. So I'm gonna move some logs. This is the first time I've ever ran a DK tractor. I'm really excited and uh, let you know what I think. So let's go. So we just got done running the processor and we ran a trailer load full, which is not full, but it's close. So it's not quite two full cords. It's probably five face cords or so, because that's a pretty big size trailer. And we had the four way wedge on, which is not ideal for big wood. And we had some big wood in there we mixed in. So eventually we cut down to the, the smaller little poles that are, you know, like the five, six, seven, eight inches, which are not too bad then. You can lower the wedge down because we had some really big chunks in there and I don't want to do tons of resplitting. And you had run a, a processor before you said, a Dyna, right? Yep, I re-rented a Dyna SC15 last year. And uh, renting that, it's, I knew there were a lot of work then. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot to think about, a lot to keep it loaded, a lot to check oils on things, mm -hmm. a lot to make sure nothing's getting jammed, keep your trailer like moved. Watch your bar speed, watch your bar tension, watch the other people, watch yeah. the logs, if they're crooked ones, yeah. if they're in there slightly Angled. You want if nice you got wood. Snakes, yeah. You want good wood. Yeah. There is a lot. And then running the levers. 
running the levers. So the Dyna wasn't the, didn't the Dyna didn't have near as the amount of levers as this does. This yeah. has a lot more features. Um, so this was a lot more to pay attention to and make sure you're grabbing yeah. the right lever because I did grab the wrong lever a few times. Oh yeah, I've done that too. Yeah. Yeah, this has got Dyna probably didn't have a log roll. Did not have a log probably roll. Probably didn't have an eject. Nope. Nope. Um, probably had a clamp though, I'm guessing. Yeah, I had a clamp. Um, it was just two joysticks and I got really good at it and I could run it really efficiently. I feel like I did a lot better with it than this one. Um, but it was harder to see things. Right. There was, it didn't have a lot of features, but this one, just for a rookie getting into it, <laughs> it's, it's a lot to take in. So if you're on YouTube and you're so telling somebody, <laughs> you should do this, you should do that, why don't you come out, go buy one, run <laughs> so, one and see yeah. how good you are because it's not just it's a lot harder than it looks yeah. i told you that when you started it's that's it looks like lot. you're smooth when you watch someone that's really good with it and because bert and i have run the 48c that we ran up at ed rubus 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 place um it's a joystick and it's real easy to learn real fast what you got to do within 10 minutes you got it whereas this half an hour and your brain's fried uh yeah <laughs> Cause, yeah because you're just like okay what do i got to do next because there's nine lovers uh, I think four of the levers do four things. Oh yeah. And uh, there's just a lot going on there. Just running it for probably the half an hour I did, I felt more drained mentally than I did <laughs> cutting and splitting all day. My body would hurt more, but like I actually feel tired right now. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a different kind of tired and this is how I felt last time I ran a processor too. It's probably like taking your truck for a, a slow 25 mile an hour ride out in the country with no traffic versus drive a semi in downtown Chicago. That's that is difference. a great comparison. That's the yes. difference. <laughs> very, very good comparison. It's about what it's like. So yeah, there's a lot to do, but it's it's kind of cool. It's fun. I will have to do some resplits on this and all that, but so it worked really good. So you're going to get one? Not yet. I probably. don't. I don't think I will ever buy a processor. Because <laughs> you like doing what you do? I like doing what I do. And if you're not going to do a ton of wood like yourself, it doesn't make sense yeah. financially yeah. to buy one. Yeah. And yeah. Um, you got to produce quite a bit. You do. Yeah. yeah. You need to keep it going. Yep. You got to feed the beast just yeah. like any other machine you buy. There's, you can't justify it just because you like it or want it or it's going to be fun. You justify it by being that what what will it you know do for you? Will it save time? Will it uh save effort on your body and most importantly out of all those is will it make you money yeah because there's no sense having a machine just to have fun with it it's got to actually make you money it i shouldn't say that there's no sense you can't have a machine to have fun there's nothing wrong with that but in a business yes it's it's you got to be profitable i'm here to have fun but i'm also <laughs> not here to lose money you know <laughs> yeah exactly exactly but there's people that do that and think they can't figure out what's wrong why am i not making any money well you spent you know five hundred thousand dollars on a truck a trailer a tractor another trailer this and that and all the other things and then they tried to find some customers that's a lot of five hundred thousand <laughs> a lot of money to repay and a lot of wood to yes, sell yes it is that's why i always say start small and grow as you go yeah i don't think for a lot of people i know being a smaller producer of firewood it seems like the goal is processor if i get a processor i can be big time a processor is not should not be everybody's long-term goal no, there's a lot of guys that do firewood that just get a really good commercial splitter and a decent chainsaw and a decent truck and a decent trailer. And they can make some good side money. Yep. And that's, that's where you got to decide. There's, cause there's steps. There's a guy that just has a little saw, cuts a little wood for himself. The next level would be provides wood for a few people he knows. The next level is, Hey, I make some spare change. And then the next level is, Hey, let's invest in some equipment, make more money. Maybe have an additional whole nother income. Yeah. And then the next level from that is, hey, it's a real business, it's hire people. Yes. It's where do you want to be? But I, what I mean is people think that if I get a processor, it removes the labor. In my opinion, it adds a different kind of labor of keeping everything going. You need perfect logs. You got, this is an expensive machine to keep going. It's got a yeah. lot of wear items. I mean, yeah. it's not a thousand dollar chainsaw to rebuild. I mean, it's got a lot <laughs> of expensive parts on it, you know? Yeah, they, they work great when they're working. This thing's been great so far though. I yes. mean, it's. I've learned a lot over the time that I've had it. I mean, it's, I didn't know anything coming into it to not ever run this kind of a machine before. And to learn all the little things you need to know has been a real experience. Like, just a little bit you saw it here, it's like, wow. Yeah. 
watching on YouTube is totally different than doing it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to see any more of these comments. You don't know how to do it. Learn this, learn that. That's okay. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people have good suggestions too, though. Yeah. There's a lot of things people mention me like, I never thought of that. That's a good idea. Those are pretty rare. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But they do happen. Yeah, they do. They do happen. So that's very good. So that's it for today, folks. You know what to do. Poke the buttons. I'll be back tomorrow with another video for you. I think we're going to do a video of tomorrow. Let's do it on an electric chainsaw. It just came out, hit the market. Let's like, do that. Probably two weeks ago. Actually. Awesome. So we're going to do that on tomorrow's video. So come on back. Right now, go watch some other videos. It'll be good for you to put hair in your chest. 765, guys. You need to check it out. There you go. That's the guy. And what time is it? It, uh... Time to say... Time to say goodnight, Irene. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>